What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Valheim. We're back, uh, last episode we did some resource gathering, we finally can make bronze. We're gonna make, we can only make a couple ingots though, but let's see what we get from that. I'm gonna have to go get more copper, I thought I got more, but I guess not. So let's see, we got bronze spear, helmet, plate legging, plate curious, or however you say that, I'm not sure. Okay, interesting. Act. I'm kind of surprised. I really thought there'd be like a pickaxe, a true warrior's tool, a blood drinker, a thirsty fiend, bronze spear. Let's see, 35, 9 to 19, 15 to 25. What about the axe? That's quite a bit of damage too. Well, this does a lot of damage, but I wonder, oh, less uh, move speed. Parry. I didn't know there even was parrying in this game, to be honest. Hmm. I should honestly make some nails at some point just to see what cool new things it unlocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the Black Forest and we're going to do a little montage of some copper gathering because that's really all we need is copper to craft some more bronze. So I'll be back with you guys in just a second more over the Black Forest. Just a quick little thing I wanted to show you guys. I actually built this bridge in between, well... Sometime last episode, I think I did it off camera last episode, but I just figured I'd show it off. It's not the best looking bridge, but it's pretty helpful to be honest. It's kind of a pain to set up. It's really hard to build in water because you can't actually build while swimming. So, but anyways, I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Gray dwarfs. Let all who read me be aware of the gray dwarfs, the skulkers in darkness, the soulless ones. They are born from rot and rainfall. They spring like mushrooms from the smoking soil. There is nothing on their tongues or behind their eyes. Those who fear nothing should still fear them. When the soul of a murderer or a gray sinner rots under the ground, it makes a hollow cyst which draws rock and wood and moss to it. It gathers up the pea into flesh, braid reeds into bone, and takes rags for skin. It would not walk, but when the night comes, it walks. Should you, should who read this see, one with a sword to your hand, lance it and let it out, or put it to the torch, for it fears the flame. Interesting. Alright, hope you guys liked that little bit of a time lapse. And I think before we go back to the base, I want to check out this troll cave. Mmm, I have tons of arrows. Let's go check it out. There's plenty of yellow mushrooms here. Now, if I eat a yellow mushroom, I can't. I'm too full. What is that? Coins? Ooh, coins. Okay. There's really nothing in here, huh? Very strange. So, I've been in here before. And I didn't see any trolls or anything like that. So, kind of, I thought it would go further back, but hey, I guess free loot, huh? I'm not mad with that. Okay, let's go look at our spoils real quick. Let's see, can I carry all of this? I can, just barely. Wow. I kind of want to take this core wood home too, but let's see. So if I do that, I hear those not very. We'll probably come back for the core wood some other time. I'm going to run back to base, and we're probably going to do some crafting, and then I'll be back with you guys in just a bit. All right, so I went back to base. I dropped off all the stuff, and I got this the copper smelting so I figured while we were waiting for that to smelt we could come over here and something I forgot to do was actually offer this trophy to the sacrificial stones over here or is that, I think that's what they're called right yes so let's see what happens when we do that I think we need this one right here activate power jump stamina usage oh wow that that is amazing 
So does that is that permanent? Like can I always Forsaken sacrificed? Let's see what Bird has to say. You have been granted the power of Ichthyr. Use it any in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore the lands, and uncover their lost treasure and resources. The Elder awaits. Sweet. How do I? So how do I use my power then? And does it have like a cooldown? Forsaken power F. Just out of curiosity. Oh shoot. Oh yeah, twenty second cooldown. So and. What did that say it was again? I think it's minus 60% stamina and one other thing, jump stamina usage. So uh, yeah, look how long we can run. That is awesome actually. I wish I would have done that a long time ago. Okay, well I'll see you guys back at base. What's up guys, we're back at base after getting that trophy. And I've done a quite a bit off camera. Well, by quite a bit, I just mean random junk. I actually went back, got more copper because I realized I needed a lot more to make all this bronze. So we're gonna actually take like half of this and go see what we can actually craft with it. So heavy, you can only carry so little. But um, bronze buckler, that's the only thing. I think we actually need to go get some core wood or something. Okay, look, we need some just random stuff. The ax is two scrap pickaxe, it's three core wood. That's something I'm pretty interested in making because this stuff, this copper is, is hard to farm. Like it takes a long time. So maybe an upgraded pickaxe is in is in call for. Let's see. 25 damage and mine does 18. So it definitely, I don't know, I think it's worth it. We need to go get some core wood. So I'm going to run over and go grab that real quick. But also let's see some of the other things we can make. A spear upgrade or a sword. I kind of want to make the sword. Let's make a sword. Yeah, let's make a sword. I always liked swords, like in web or games where they let you choose like the different weapons, axe, mace, and all that stuff. I'd always choose the swords because I always thought they looked cool. I'm totally forgetting what I needed for that leather scraps, right? Oh, I hope I have enough. Let's go check. I didn't realize I was so low on leather scraps. Oh, we had just enough score. Do I need more for the pickaxe? No, just core wood. Okay. How much damage does this do? 35 damage? Whoa, wait. Do we do the, the pro move and just go for the bronze axe? I think so. We're a viking. The bronze axe. Look, it does the same. It does more damage. Durability is lower, though. Knockback is a bit lower. Dude, I think I want to do the axe. Like, be a true viking with the viking axe. Now, I also wonder, can that double up his, like, can I chop down trees with this axe? I bet you I can, right? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's very good at it, too. Let me test it on this Grayling. Uh, can we upgrade it? Let's go check if we can, what it takes to upgrade. Because I think with this anvil, we could have four bronze and one leather scrap. That, that That's legit. That's going to be easy to do. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to get some of this going back into the charcoal kiln because you need a lot of charcoal. I've been chopping down a lot of trees too. Okay, I'm going to go to the Black Forest and I will be back with you guys. I'm going to go get some core wood and some more copper, I think, because I might as well while I'm down there, I guess, right? Seems worth it. But I will let you guys tag along if anything interesting happens. But if not, I'm probably just going to do it off camera because it's kind of boring. I already did the montage over this episode. We don't need no more of that. So I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. I just noticed the pigs escaped. And I also forgot to mention that I built a cart. I'm going to try to use that to see if it works good. But the pigs escaped. There's a piece of wood sitting right here and they escaped. My piggies. Okay, so I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I need to build it further away. Because maybe they were just too close to me. So they kept getting pissed off. But we'll have to capture some more pigs and farm them. I I'll be able to make that cultivator. So I'll actually be able to farm now. I figured out how to do that. But anyways, we'll be back in a little bit when I have more resources. So I've been a little busy. To get our cart back up here. I had to make a very large staircase we're gonna actually see if it works now the car is kind of a pain to use I don't know if I'll use it in the future I can also use my power here 
just use less stamina. Ooh, it's so painful. This was also very annoying to build, but hey, it kind of works. Come on. Oh. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe. I need to park it like this real quick. Hmm. Right, that should work right there, I think. Let's try this now. Ooh. Yes, we did it. Thank God. <laughs> Whew, okay, I will meet you guys back when we're at the base. We're almost there, though. Okay, we're back. I got all the stuff put away. Um, start cooking up some of the copper, too. There's more coal in this bad boy. It takes so much coal to smelt this stuff. Okay. Okay, um. I'll also should just put the copper in there. Okay, cool. As you guys can see, uh, I have upgraded quite a bit. I found out how to make a fine wood longbow, or fine wood bow. I made some bronze tools as well. And I feel so upset with myself how long it took me to find out how to get these different kinds of wood. I got fine wood and core wood now. And I can like finally, it's opened up a lot of crafting recipes, or at least quite a few. But also, I did notice, I didn't actually look at all this stuff, but I did notice I got some new recipes in my hammer. Like, I got quite a bit of stuff here. Um, a lot of stuff here, too, like a forge cooler, smelter, charcoal kiln. We got all that stuff. We got a fermenter and a cauldron. And then this stuff, we got a boat, a portal, connects another portal with equal or no tag. And a ward. So, a portal sounds pretty legit. Do we actually have stuff to make that? I think we need more of those smelter cores. Sultering cores. But yeah, that sounds pretty nice. Like, I guess that's just maybe a way to teleport between places. But we did get quite a bit of copper there. We're pretty set. Um, I think I'm about ready to finish out this episode, but I kind of want to do one last thing. I want to go hunt a troll and see if we can take on a troll just for fun. I really don't think he'll be as challenging as I kind of thought he would be, but I just wanted to be safe rather than sorry. So yeah, I'm going to make some arrows and then we'll go see you guys back in the Black Forest where we just were a moment ago. Okay, well, you know, I was planning on taking out a troll and I found one but not where I kind of thought I would find one. We actually one on my side of the river. See him over there, the big guy? I actually see some gray dwarfs too, so we're gonna have to be careful here. We're gonna eat some more of this, the berries and the mushrooms. See if we can start sniping this guy. This bow is so much better. As you can tell, it just got way less drop. Okay, well, apparently I don't know how to use it yet though. We make quite a bit of arrows, so we should be pretty good here. Ooh, need our stamina. You are not the ones I came for. Hey! Yeah, I hear your little neck. Ooh, okay. Now the big boy. Snake back. Did I hit him? I don't think I hit him. Oh, maybe I did. His health was a little bit lower. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm fighting him on the riverbed. I think I'm just gonna, like, try to kite him back as much as I can. We're gonna run across here, I think. Oh, he hit me for massive damage, and I'm going to start drowning, too. This is very not good so far. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a terrible start. There's so much damage. 
Yeah, you gotta kite these guys real good, I'm sure. I don't think I'm actually doing a good enough job kiting. It does not help that I'm wet. That really sucks. But I guess the being rested counteracts that, I think. Oh, did I just step back in water? Like an idiot. <gasps> don't hit me. Stay away from me. Yes, through the trees. The trees all help. Oh my god, I feel like he's gaining on me. He's very angry. Oh man, I think I need to stop going uphill too. Oh my god, this is intense. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that was close. Okay. I'm just gonna keep kiting him. He's almost dead, actually. I think one more shot. Hey, we did it. Ew, look at him. He's very ugly. What did I get? Gold? What about gold? Troll leather. Oh wow, troll leather armor. Hmm. Well. We know we can kill trolls. <laughs> I guess I'm probably gonna have to farm trolls now for their troll leather. This, I think it's very high. This is why trolls are so hard to kill. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I think next episode we're going to go and try to get rid of basically all these markers. Uh, I need to finish mining this copper, but that's I mean these ones mainly. These little caves and stuff. Because uh, we need some more of those cores or whatever they're called for those portals and stuff. And I think we'll just do a little like montage of that at, uh, at the beginning of next episode. And then maybe we'll finish off the episode by maybe trying to fight the elder out here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.